What's going on, Android lovers? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you as always from AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today we're pleased to bring you an unboxing of the Asus Transformer Pad Infinity. This is the uh, model number TF700T, and we're also going to be unboxing this uh, mobile dock. So uh, let's just get into the unboxing of the uh, Transformer Pad Infinity here. Now the TF700T is going to be uh, what is phasing out the Transformer Prime. This is the high-end tablet from Asus. Now this tablet's coming at us with a super IPS uh, display that is LCD. We've got our 64 gigabyte version. Um, we'll take the tablet out of the box and we can just read some of these specifications on the side here. So you see we're rocking Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. We're also rocking our full HD display. Now this has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. This has the super IPS plus, uh, so it has ultra bright colors. It's coming in at 600 nits. We've got our quad core Tegra 3 processor. This is uh, Packin Corning's Gorilla Glass 2. We've got an 8 megapixel camera on the rear, and we've got a 1.2 megapixel in the front. We also have the Asus Sonic Master technology, and uh, we have a pretty large battery in this. So let's open it up. As you can see, we have our brushed metal on the back. Now, uh, that's uh, one key indicator that this is Asus's uh, top of the line tablet, is the brushed metal. Now, it's really uh, sturdy, actually. I'm surprised at the durability. And then we have our actual uh, holes right here for our speaker. On the bottom, we've got our uh, little slits for the mobile keyboard dock, as well as our connector pin for charging. Here's our camera, LED, and our small microphone. Got our power button at the top right here, and our volume rockers right there. Take our uh, little info off there and we'll power the device up. Now while the device is powering up, we'll check out what's in the rest of the box. We've got one flap here. Within this flap is our information. Uh, we've got our Asus tablet warranty card and then our user manual. Now, within the user manual, it uh, basically just shows you how to use the tablet. Obviously, we're not going to be checking that out. So we'll put this back. Now we have our cleaning cloth that Asus kindly packs in the box. We've also got our AC adapter and our charging cable, very handy. Now uh, one note about these ASUS tablets, um, a lot of them don't often work with um, other AC adapters. I've tried with other AC adapters with the original um, connector here and it just doesn't work. You need to use these and there's sometimes uh, faulty AC adapters, I've heard about that. So just be wary guys. Now once we power the tablet on, we can see we have our beautifully bright uh, IPS panel. We have our Super IPS Plus mode, which we can turn off, and then we can uh, simply choose our brightness. Now this is full brightness without the IPS Plus on, and then we press the IPS Plus, and we do have uh, even more visibility for outdoor viewing situations. We can go to our settings right from here. We're rocking the Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich, and we've got the um, Asus overlay atop that, but the overlay doesn't uh, actually provide too much uh, bloating or you know gaudy looks or anything like that it is pretty nice and it sticks to AOSP very well in my opinion. Going into our apps here, we do have a few packed from Asus, such as the Global and the Tegra Gaming Zone to uh, demonstrate the Tegra 3's gaming and processing abilities. We've got the Asus Vibe, the App Locker, App Backup. We can go through, we got our widgets, we got some cool Asus widgets like the Task Manager, the Battery. Uh, we've got the MyZine, which is a, basically an aggregator for all your social networks and stuff like that. And just the basic uh, stock ice cream sandwich experience. We've got our recent app windows and stuff. Now, uh, this feels really great in my hand. It feels a lot better than the uh, TF300T. We'll bring that side by side here in just a second. Now, we'll also open up our mobile keyboard dock while we have this handy. We'll just remove the plastic. So here is our mobile pad dock. Now this is going to differ from the other uh, mobile pad docks in that it is the brushed matching aluminum. Very nice looking. We have our uh, little information in here as well. So owner's manual for the dock. Now the dock itself has a battery inside and it boosts the longevity and the uh, life of the TF700T. We go ahead and we just lock it in the keyboard dock just like that. Once it's locked in, we have our little slider that we can uh, slide to the left to release, and we slide to the right. And uh, we also get our sound notification that the Asus is in the keyboard dock. 
Now the hinge is really great. It feels awesome. Um, it doesn't have too much give or too much slack, and it closes just uh, perfectly. Nice clamshell design. You can see right here we have our charging indicator and our connector. We have access to all our ports on the actual ASUS, including our micro SD, our um, H mini HDMI out, and then our headphone jack. We've got our small mics over here. Hinge is constructed very, very well. All of the colors match. Now we'll, uh, gonna, we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison and head-to-head -head smackdown. But this is the ASUS TF300T and this is the TF700T. So you can see they're both pretty similar, but the 300T is just a little bit more bulky. Not as sexy, not as sleek and slender. And we can move it on our sides just like that. Bring it up like this. Another quick mention is that there's no LED or mic here on the TF300T. And there's a lot more weight in the TF700T. Um, the back of the tablet is a little heavier, so it's a lot nicer. It's not going to tip over as easy. Um, when you're actually viewing this or having it set on a surface. We've also got a different pad here for mouse control, as well as different click functionality. So we'll just remove this one. But it feels really solid in the keyboard dock like this, and it's gonna be a joy to use. Just great profile, great ergonomics, great looks, and uh, of course, awesome performance from Asus and the TF700T. So stay tuned for our full review, guys. We always get one of those after I've had enough time with the tablet to work out the pros and cons. But uh, check back in, you guys. We got plenty more where this is coming from. And also drop us a line for requests.